Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter's All the Games, this time with the Tao Hao Fan Game Jam 5. I've played the previous game jams before, I don't remember which ones, um, and we'll be playing this one. Um, playing each game for a minute each, 10 per video, links to individual games in the description so you can check them out further. The theme was folklore, myths, and legends. This is about creating a Tao Hao fan game, so they're basically like bullet hells, 2D bullet hells. Um, at the end I might have an article of my favorites, I'll let you know. Um, and this video, as always, is brought to you by the lovely people on Patreon who support me each and every month so I can continue to play all of these Game Jam games and indie games. If you'd like to support me or follow me on various other social media platforms, all of those links are in the description, as are the links to the games. Next, we're playing Firework Night, The Legend of XI, which I'm just going to call X, because I don't know how that's pronounced, and I'm pretty sure it's not six or anything. Cool. What's the matter with the fog? Why are the fireworks set off today? Who is there? It is me. Ah, Marissa. Rimu, have you heard that legend? What is the legend? It's the legend of X. X. It said that X. It said that the X beast has long tentacles, sharp teeth, red eyes, and is extremely fierce. Suka. Um, more than this. It said that he has. Uh, it has three heads, four hands, eight legs, and a body as high as a mountain. It's hard to imagine. Besides, there's an octopus-like head, lots of tentacles, and a bat wings on its back. What the hell is it? Then the guardian of the devil mansion told me that the weakness of the monster. Oh? That's my master spark. Every mountain can be blown away. If you boast, you better go somewhere else. Well, well, there are three weaknesses. One is the fire, two is the explosion. Hey, isn't it master spark? I hate two kinds of people the most. That's the one who can't count. Okay, three is the red. So you can't just do it and turn to me? Uh, it is impossible. Ha, huh, Marissa, you have a new scar on your face. Just, just a mistake. There are for you. Firecrackers? X may be in the human village. The next one is yours. The human village. So, the translation obviously isn't perfect, but it's not going to be. Cough the smoke. How did the village come to be like this? Ha, huh, a rubbish. Ha, huh, the firecrackers need gunpowder to be used. It is displayed at the bottom of the screen. I think I can get gunpowder from the greys. So I have played a little bit of this, um, it's early in the morning, ooh, I didn't do that last time. It's early in the morning and I had some issues recording actually. Um, but basically it's high risk, high reward. So easy, they were setting off fireworks. So you have to come close to the explosions but not too close. Oh, this. I think I might be able to rush through this barrage with the reaction force of the gunpowder. Try to press the right button, right bus, right button to do a spark. Piece of cake. Now press and hold. Done. Okay. Keep going forward. We fire in little bursts. Oh. Running out of gunpowder stuff, so. Nope. Oh, there's something coming from the bottom as well. I quite like games that are like this, that are like high risk, high reward. Oh, I forgot that I couldn't just keep going. I do like when I'm hit, they give you like a small break from everything. Like, oh, sorry. It's a neat game. Next. We're playing The Phantom's Nightmare. Why is it chasing me? Ugh, these guys again. Somehow I can't kill it no matter how I swing my sword. Maybe there's a way to defeat them. Tutorial time. You can move by pressing directional keys on the keyboard. Press A and Z to attack. Each attack will consume one of your stamina. Um, Z will decrease the enemy's HP. A is the MP. One second. <coughs> Sorry. You can only defeat the enemy by making both its HP and MP zero at the same time. If either they're, if they reach it but they don't, then... They will be healed. Right after you defeat the enemy, you can press the directional button to dash. If there's an enemy in the direction you press, you will move instantly to the enemy. Fully recover your stamina, the enemy can attack you. Good luck. This sounds challenging. This is hard. Oh, I wasn't pressing the right button. Okay. No, it's gonna be alive again. I didn't realize they were just combo. Like, if you do MP, it kind of combos. Alright. Oh. 
This had an issue where the fonts didn't install correctly, and I uninstalled and reinstalled the game, and the fonts didn't install correctly, so I just installed the font separately, the font separately, but it seems to just have some installation issues, I'm not quite sure. Story seemed interesting, I like the extra challenge with the enemies. Next. We're playing Hawaii, Ho Hanui Face. Even beings of the outside world have so many legends, they even seem to have faith in some of them. I wonder, Mayumi, do you think that we can use the human soul's faith to bring these outside world legends to life? Heh <laughs> legendary clay army, mold from humans' imagination and beliefs, heh <laughs> you're scary. Alright, W to grab platforms, it's W, X, and C, that's a bit difficult. Okay. I don't know how I feel about any of this. Alright, so we got three of those. And apparently we can grab and move platforms. That's not really doing anything right now, so oh I didn't mean to shoot. Okay. What is shooting me? Just there? Am I supposed to kill this rat down here? And also hit myself. I like the background graphic. But I don't quite understand what we're doing. Uh, next. We're playing Bash Bash Mochi Revolution. Oh yeah. On the moon resides Chang, a goddess who has traded her freedom for immortality. Few people know of her existence, let alone met her in person. Yet her shadow looms large on the moon. While pounding mochi, the moon rabbits gather along and sing together, the song of loneliness echo in space. One day, the elixir that gave Chang her immortality had vanished. She looked in vain for the Hora elixir of immortality and feared someone had stolen it. Someone could experience the joys of immortality without the pain of imprisonment. The thought angered her. Fueled with jealousy, she unleashed her spell card. Frantic resounding of lunar echoes on the denizens of Earth. This transformed everyone, human and yukai, into moon rabbits who now must make mochi for her. <laughs> Many of the original moon rabbits were delighted to find new companions, but some of the original moon rabbits became worried about the situation. Was this even fair to the many humans in Yuki, Yukai who didn't think of stealing the elixir? Those moon rabbits could only reflect. Attempting to change the status quo could become a disaster. They could only sigh and inspect the quality of the mochi the new moon rabbits were making. Until Junko came to the moon and declared, I figured out how to make Hora elixir of immortality, but one of the ingredients is a special kind of mochi. It may be possible to appease Chang by duping her and saying we found the elixir. That is why I need your help. Those words ignite the spirits of the humans in the Yuki. Together with the help of the original moon rabbits, they will make the special mochi and create the duplicate of the elixir. It's a very cute, but also kind of sad story. People like to say that time stops for no one, but they forget the maids with time-stopping skills exist. Don't write us out of history, folks. You should include growing grown bunny ears in your resume. They look cute and are now part of your new identity. I don't like the fact that I have bunny ears. It doesn't go with my maid uniform. Will my master Rimilla still like me? I can't see why not. As far as I know, no one has written vampire and bunny maid fic fan fiction yet. Either that's because people lack the imagination to write such a daring work of art, or it's stupid. I'm with the latter. What a waste. Imagine the fan art you could have inspired. Okay. Alright, so you can control like either side I don't understand oh we need the right color this is hard I didn't do well at all yeah sorry I didn't understand at first uh, let's retry all right Red, red. I can't remember which side's which. Yeah, I couldn't remember which side's which. This is very, very difficult because of the way it's stacked for me. Next. We're playing Tokafony of Myths. Alright, so this is just sort of a note that says that it's a fan game, there's no references of other characters, it's fine. Um, enjoy the music and dialogue as I didn't have enough time starting so late on the images to do them properly. That is all sorry. No worries. But not really. Rumu returns, returns home to the Hukuri shrine from the human village after a round of peddling for people to come and pray with small success. 
However, unbeknownst to her, or new, or, or rather ancient, danger is heading her way. And it's not the fool she's walking directly towards now. Sheesh, no one is interested in visiting the shrine, really, now, organized UK. This is the most nonsense thing I've ever heard. Small groups and fairies, maybe, but a few thousand in the forest, the UK there, are lone wolves. They never cooperate on anything. Still, I guess I could grab some stuff back at the shrine, then check it out. Uh, this would be the first for an incident. Well, 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 if it isn't Remu. Speaking of fairies, what do you want? Today is the day that I defeat you. I thought that was last Thursday. Oh, wait, that didn't happen. Grr, I'll show you. Fighting practice before I go and see what's up with the forest. Fighting ensues. Imagine for a moment a turn-based strategy game with three layers. Wouldn't that be weird? Well, let's get back to the plot. I think it's hilarious they made references to the game they wanted to create. The English is very good. Haha, <laughs> you're a bit stronger than last week. That's because I'm the strongest. Yeah, right. Sure you are. Want some tea? That would be nice. And so, Renu made it back to the shrine with the ice fairy in hand, and someone was there already. Yo, Remu, I hope if you don't mind, but I made some tea with your tea leaves. You know you could have just asked. Where's the fun in that, anyway? Have you heard the rumors of Yaku organizing? Yeah, I was just going to investigate it before someone got in the way. Hey. Hmm. Hey? Look, Remu, you have a visitor for once. Hey, I have visitors during holidays and festivals. The visitor was no human, though. It was a katsune, a fox spirit, and the young one at that, barely to 40, 400 years old. I like that they've written a story. It's very well written. It's kind of interesting. The introduction of characters, they're quite simple at first, but I hope that they do develop to be more full-bodied. Next. We're playing Tohau and Animism of the Night? Sure. How to play it. X, Z, shift to focus, W, S, D, to move up and down, okay. Move near enemies to fire to get knives. Enemies cannot be defeated with knives, survive and get more score, okay. How do we get knives? We got a knife. Okay, so only like the actual middle of it. That was just a bomb. Yeah, enemies cannot be defeated with knives, so what do you do with them? Hmm. What do we do with knives then? Oh, I like how it's different enemies with different throwing. Uh, too close. Different throwing patterns each time. This one's such an easier enemy. Well, it's still quite challenging. I don't know what knives do or how to defeat them. Next, we're playing Moon Rabbit Panic. The immoral princess of the moon, Kagu, has been living in Earth peacefully, but now the rabbits of the moon have come to kidnap her and bring her back to the, fo to the kingdom Lunar. Their last desperate plan is to swarm her and explode, hoping to knock her out and then fight with her out of fight with her out of the atmosphere. The Doctor Aaron Yu has taken the princess to the legendary forest of Gensuku to hide her and the in Tell Manor, deep in the bamboo forest of the lost. You have almost successfully, but the final almost succeeded, but the final attack of the moon rabbits is about to begin. So I have to match the potion color to the rabbit color. Golden potion defeats any. Red potion heals the moon princess. Okay. So they did ask me to have like the ultra setting, uh if my computer can handle it. My computer cannot. Where do we find potions? You're an enemy. Where's my potions? Where do I get potions from? There's one. Nope, not you. Got you. Cool. Red heals her. That's not red anymore. It's yellow. And gold, maybe? Alright, a lot more potions are starting to fall, which is good. Well, we need a blue. Alright, let's grab this one. Pink. Does it like destroy it? Yeah, it does destroy everyone in the area, which is like very nice. Maybe it only destroys everyone of that color in the area, though. It's a neat game, it's very challenging. No, oh, come, on. come on. Oh, I thought I had that color. Never mind. Next. We're playing Aya Shemaru, doesn't lie. You are Aya, and you have a newspaper to sell. The human editor of your beloved Bun Bun Maru is about to start weekly publication after a long hi hiatus, but you have no articles yet. 
Visit the Human Village each week to find the best scoops and write the best stories you can. Soon enough, everyone will want a subscription to your work. This week's weather was good besides some light rain. Your publication has not had much success in the village yet. During your visit of the village, you found that there were some reports of UK sightings in town and a new store opened. Let's do the sightings. The reports of a UK sighting in town. How should I spin this story? Keep it tense and drama. All right, so, Bun Bun Maru, newspaper, Human Village Edition, issue 55. A local family said they had passed by someone earlier this week who did not seem quite human. They had trait and trait that quickly disappeared. To see someone like that intrude on our security is quite worrying. Clearly, the hacker shrine maiden has other priorities in our mind than our security. So we got a new sale, which isn't, the, which isn't the best outcome, but it's all right. The weather has been bad this week with tons of rain and wind. Your publication has not had much success yet. During your visit of the village, you found that a human from the outside world found their way into the village and that many people saw a fierce Daiku battle in the sky outside the village. Let's write about the fight. Many people saw the fight. How should I spin the story? Let's keep it factual. Yesterday, a fearsome battle could be seen from the edge of the village over the car dune. Participants in this da- Dan Menku duo were Blank and Karju... I don't know. Who had a drunken argument over nothing, won by a hair assuring the safety of Gensek for a day. So these are like generated, which is quite cool. Um, I like the fact that you have options that how to spin them. It's a very good start. Next. Uh, I'm playing, it's like the name of the jam, and then it's just the word um, Wario, where it auto started, and I'm gonna die. Down, over, down, over. Oh no, it was oh, okay. Let's restart. It's fine. It's fine. This was just difficult. One mini game. Okay. Just over, over, down. Why do I lose? Right, red. Cool, blue. Red. Blue. Yeah, I won that one, okay. Oh, why do I lose that, though? I don't understand that one mini game, I guess. Red. Red. I do like WarioWare type games, they're fun. down over over oh I have to just keep going I guess all right interesting next we're playing there's a demon in here it's summer vacation this year Mary took me to her villa in another country woohoo man gotta be nice living here the beaches are amazing the food is great the people are so nice it's gotta be my best summer so far well until the demon comes However, now that tonight is our last night here, we need to focus on a real mission. That's right, the Secret Stealing Club's mission to investigate any and all anomaly in the world. Mary left us left earlier to gather some intel. I need to hurry up as well. Okay. It's a work vacation. Really now, why can't we meet back at the villa? It's pretty chilly here. Maybe I should have brought my jacket. Judging from the stars, it should be around 2 a.m. in Japan. Perhaps I should check my phone. Seems about right. 13 a.m. local time. Our flight back to Japan is scheduled for 9 a.m. Oh well, if we can sleep, sneak in one last club, club activity before going home, then I won't complain. This place sure is creepy, though. Hey, what was that? Oh, a call from Mary. Hey, Mary, where are you? I'm very sorry, Riniko. It seems like I took a wrong turn. Oi, 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 what do you mean a wrong turn? Don't worry, I'm not lost or anything. I'm heading there right now. Meanwhile, I've gathered some info about the local paranormal phenomenon from the people. Apparently, there's a ghost wandering in the area. There is an abandoned house nearby that seems to be a hot spot for its activity. Local ghost, huh? Sounds interesting. I'll send you what I've gathered so far. Just wait for me at the intersection. I'm not going anywhere. Just hurry up, Mary. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Really, Mary? Getting lost now of all times? Oh, a message. Katulaka is believed to be the spirit of a deceased woman who who died during pregnancy or childbirth, commonly depicted as a woman with long black hair and a white dress that usually terrorizes local villagers to extract revenge. Huh, so this is the ghost, huh? And that's her voice. That voice again, it's really loud. Could it be the ghost that Mary mentioned? Hey, show yourself. Yeah, it looks like her. Renko? Oh, no. Oh, man, that was fast. You okay? Nod, nod. Her eyes look red from this angle. By the way, you hear the laughter just now? I do. Huh, so it wasn't just my imagination. Isn't that a good thing? What do you mean? That means that the Kuntulaka must be around here, right? Well, if you put it that way, we are going to gather evidence after all, right? Let's get our main agenda tonight, shall we? So, where's the abandoned house you mentioned? This way. I could have just met you by it, then. Let's see where you came from. Definitely a captivating story. It's cool that it's a different, like, spirit or ghost or legend or myth or whatever it is. Next. Next. 